So I see a lot of comments with questions which is related to this problem. So I decided to make a video about this. You know, most people who worked with GDS script, they don't have a proper understanding of type. You create a variable in GDS script and it's automatically handle its type. For example, here we have two nodes. One of them is timer and other one is a 3D node pass. What you do in GDS script, you just call get node and you can grab your node. And the type is handled with GD script automatically. But in C++, everything has a different type. So the way Godot is written in C++ is like this. They have some basic data type like integer, float, vector tree, array, dictionary, and so on. These are basic data type. Besides these, we have more complex data type like node 3D, ref count, time, timer, and so on. And all of these more complex data type inherit somehow from object class. I created a video about object class in Godot and I suggest to watch that. So in C++, if I have, for example, a mesh instance node, I can refer to that with a object pointer. If you're confused about this, I suggest to read about polymorphism in C++. Basically, in C++, you can refer to an object with the pointer of the parent of that object. So why we need to do that? We will see a great example of that now. For example, here I have two different type of node as the child of the test. And now if I want to grab them with the get child function, so the question is what type get child should return? You know, in C++, each function should return a valid unique type, not multiple type. And we have a various type of nodes in uh, Godot. So what we are going to do is to return the node type. And as all of us know, the basic node itself is the parent of all other nodes in Sintry. Also nodes itself inherit from object class. So the way we can access the timer node or the past 3D node is that we can grab them with the get child node and then cast them to the correct type. And inside the object class, there is a handy function which helped you to do that. You will understand all of this in a moment. So here I am in GD extension. First, let's see a function that is going to automatically convert the type for us. That function is getNode. This function is going to automatically give us the correct type. So here I create a timer pointer and I just use getNode function but we should pass the type as the template argument to this function. And if I print timer, you can see we have our timer. So what will happen if type which I pass does not match the node type? For example, here, if I pass pass 3D node name, let's see what will happen. The thing that happened now is that it is going to return a null pointer. And this is really important to know. Now let's see how get child function work. This function is not going to cast the node type automatically like get node function. It is going to return a node pointer to us. So I create a node pointer and I grab the first child. Now how we can cast this to the timer node? And as we know, the first node is the timer node. Inside the object class, we have a handy static function that we can use that for casting everything that come from object class. So I create a timer pointer and I use the cast function, which is a static function. Here I should pass the type as the template argument and the node as the input to this function. So this will cast our node to correct type. Please note, this is a static function. And because of that, I can access this function with double semicolon. Well, now I just print this and I will have my time node. Now, if you provide a wrong type to this function, for example, if you put a pass 3D type here, this function will return a null pointer to us. So let me give you another example. Imagine you have a node and you don't know what are the child of this node, but you need to grab all the child which are timer node. And we can have 100 node as the child of this node or one node, we don't know. And we don't know the type of the node which are the child of this node. This is really trivial example for now, but it is really handy in many situations in Godot. 
So first I grab all of the children with get children in GD extension. This will return a type array. Type array is a kind of array which has a specific type. And in this case, the specific type is no type. So I have all of the children and I have no idea what are they. So I create a loop and I will check all of them. In this case, I want to grab all the nodes which are the timer node. So I cast the child to timer node. Now this is the tricky part. If the child is not a timer node, this will return a null pointer. So here I check if the return node is not a null pointer. And I can do whatever I want to do with this node in the if statement. For now, I just print that node. That's it for the casting system in Godot. I hope you understand how casting system works in Godot. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. And have a good time. Until the next video, bye.